Hi there guys, so I thought today I just, uh, I got a comment based off uh, a comment I put on another video to do with coding, so uh, I'll just share my screen with you guys so you uh, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, da -da 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 -da. Just to share a screen. Okay, hopefully all you guys can see that now. Um, so yeah, I've been following along with this uh, this Coding with Ross tutorial. Um, it's really, really great. Um, like a lot of people, you know, kind of getting into coding and thought gaming would be a fun way to do it. Um, I've read that classic maths book, uh, Python Crash Course. And um, the next thing after that, I thought, you know, take on, try and take on a big project. Um, and this, these, in fact, there's so many tutorials by Coding with Ross that are really, really good. Um, and he created a program for, for a basic Python game that allows you to do attacks, allows you to kill each other and stuff like that. Um, I've gone and made a few tweaks, actually put a comment on it. Um, and uh, interestingly, someone gave me a, a follow-up comment, just wondering basically if, um, if I could share the code that I'd, that I'd done. Um, so just, just so you guys kind of know what I'm talking about, because this probably sounds pretty abstract at the minute, uh, I will show you the, uh, the game in question. So the, the initial uh, thing that's been set up on the coding with Ross, it shows you how, how to create an, an attack uh, rectangle in front of you. Um, I've just tweaked it so that I've got sort of like a high attack. I've got a low attack. Uh, I've also got this shooting attack. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so also, Interestingly, the way I've set up this shooting attack, it's, uh, it's got a bit of tracking going on. So it, it updates based on the position. So what it means effectively is, um, although you can sort of jump out of the way, uh, you, can, you can actually get hit by multiple user attack squares. I'll go into that later. Um, but yeah, so um, basically, instead of just having one attack, I've got an attack that you can jump over, the low attack, and I'm going to program it so you can look under the, the high attack as well, uh, as well as this, this shooting attack. So. Yeah, without further ado, I'll show you where those changes have been made. Um, so I'm just realizing I don't know if I'm open now, so I'll just open that quickly. But uh, essentially, because I didn't have these art assets that have been put together in place, I actually had to create it a little bit differently. Um, so effectively, uh, whereas a lot of the mechanics he's got are linked to the animation sprites, um, in my case, I, I instead linked them to, um, to, to some slightly different places where we're, we're updating um, the movements and where we're updating the the uh, definitions of the attacks themselves it'll make more sense when i go through it in a sec but basically somewhat similar to uh the coding with ross video or very similar apart from a program in a couple of extra bits so here um we have the situation where um we have all, all the movements and stuff but then this is where it gets slightly different um so for instance uh I've programmed them in two different high attacks. These are going to have different amounts of damage, although that's not programmed yet. Essentially, they're the closest one. I want to program it so it takes, uh, instead of attacking instantly, it will attack on a certain frame, which um, if I go back to the way that Ross did it, which makes more sense, <laughs> I'll, I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to include that. So it takes, there's a bit, a bit of wind up. It's not like attack. It's like attack, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, the front one will be quicker, less frames to animate, but uh, ultimately do less damage. The second one will be more like a, instead of a jab, it will be more like a cross, you know, more frames to animate, more damage. Um, so essentially slow but powerful. And if you get hit before your attack lands, it will be interrupted as well, more like a, like a tech end game. Um, but that will that'll take a little while to program. Also got this interesting shooting attack, uh, which is being performed. It's actually not being performed once, but uh, yeah, being, being performed eight times. So, and um, this is because of this self shoot variable. We've created a determinant loop here. So this runs eight times. It adds one each time and then the eighth time it's at the end. Um, but yeah, this makes a lot more sense as we go down to the bottom. I apologize that my code is a little unneat. I am still going to include it down below so that you can see it if you want to try and break down the, the chaos that that is my uh, not not too neat code. Definitely just want to tidy it up a bit. But yeah, so um, here, for instance, we've got the high attack. Here we've got the low attack. Uh, you'll notice they're pretty similar to the coding with Ross video, apart from here, one starting its attack at the bottom of the rectangle, one starting its attack at the center line of the rectangle. Um, this is only going to be half the height as well. So what that means is instead of having a, a full height attack, that begins at the center line. It's only attacking from, from like sort of the middle to the top of the body. Um, and the, the bottom one, you know, it's, it's starting at the bottom and they, it's you know, quite easy to jump over that attack. I'm probably gonna create it so that you can duck under the high attack as well, to be honest. I might even play around with these variables. So it's an integer of a, of a third rather than a half. Uh, it's just, it just makes sense for now. 
So I guess this is one of the more interesting things and one of the things that's a little bit longer to, to resolve and, and kind of work out how to do. Um, we have the shooting attack variable uh, that uses the self dot shoot uh, so shooting attack definition, sorry, that uses the uh, self dot shoot variable we've programmed into here. Um, and essentially this time, what it's doing is each time the self dot shoot's going up, it's moving across 50 pixels. And uh, the, the attack square this time is only half the width uh, and only a quarter of the height. So it's quite easy to sort of jump over it. Um, I also had to tweak the damage and turn it right down as well, because it is actually possible to, to get hit by more than one attack square, especially if you're moving as the frames being updated. But at the same time, it's possible to jump and only get clips for one attack rather than the two that the width of the body would normally take. So it is worthwhile trying to move out the way of that attack. Um, I still probably want to have a slight delay before this actually uh, forms, you know, like a wind up, you know, like I was talking with the punch attacks. But um, but yeah, so, so they're the major changes. I hope they make sense. I know I've been talking quite quickly, hopefully not rambling too much. Um, and yeah, I mean, in terms of the gameplay itself, you know, it still needs a lot of work, but I'm gradually building more and more features on here. So, and, uh, you know, sort of works with this size as well. So, yeah, I mean, I've only got a few animations so far, walking, idle, um, and attack. In fact, I don't even know the attack programs, to be honest. I just think, you know, getting hit. <laughs> but yeah, um, anyway, the program's down below. Hopefully you found it useful. Um, cheers, guys. Take care.